Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the sequel to Venom, Venom, Let There Be Carnage. There will be spoilers ahead on plot, character and the future of the shared MCU Sony-verse. Hope you enjoy. So Venom, Let There Be Carnage is the story between Eddie Brock and Cletus. Uh, Eddie being Venom, Cletus becoming Carnage later in the story and to me this was an absolutely fantastic sequel a brilliant superhero movie and what i'm loving is they've made venom an anti-villain you know they made him very good because of Reddy brock's characteristics but the character venom still has evil intentions you know because he needs to eat he needs to live that's the whole point but they've made it they made it so well that if they ever pitted Venom and Spider-Man ever together, would it work? Who knows? But we'll talk a bit bit, bit more about that later in the review. Um, the introduction of Carnage was something I've wanted to see for a very long time. Uh, amazingly done. The, the character looked incredible. It's what I envisioned he looked like from the video games I played as a child and the comic books um, I've seen and read. And the fan art online, you know. Um, when obviously, you know, we were thinking about what is going to be the sequel to Venom, where can they go with this? Uh, Carnage was an obvious one because of the symbiote. And they did it in such a unique way of letting Woody Harrison's uh, Cletus character bite um, Tom Hardy's uh, Eddie. So that was cool. Um, Tom Hardy and Woody Harrison. I was very much against Woody Harrison, I would say. But him and Tom Hardy were phenomenal in this movie. They did everything as you'd expect their characters to do as a serial killer and as a reporter. Um, I love Woody Harrison's backstory in this. Um, uh, teaming up with Naomi Harris's character, who also had an amazing superpower of like sound. And it was cool to see the parallels between them two because Carnage hates sound, but her main power is sound. So it was cool to see them two have a lot of conflict towards the end of the film and break Cletus' character away from Carnage because of his love for Naomi Harris' character. Um, so, yeah, Woody Harrison's story from the start of the film to the end of the film, I thought it was executed perfectly. Shame he's dead. So not only will we not see Cletus, but we won't see Carnage return. I mean, I'm glad you don't want to see superhero villains pop up again and again and again. So I think this is done in the best way possible. Um, and then Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy, again, um, he's been on this journey from the start of Venom 1 to the end of Venom 2. Um, his relationship with Venom, uh, Eddie Brock's and Venom relationship, takes a massive twist in this movie when they disconnect from each other. They go their separate ways. And you got to see Venom in different on different bodies. You got to see him take over Michelle Williams' body at uh, Anne's. So that was cool. Uh, and there's a lot of heart between the characters towards the end. So this is what I'm loving about the Venom films. They got better. This was, in my opinion, a million times better than the first one. The first one's good, but this one, you know, you're seeing two of the greatest Spider-Man villains in comic history come head to head. And I hope we get to see more iconic villains go head to head in the future. Um, as story goes, you know, as I said, Woody Harrelson's story, excellent. Tom's um, story from point A to B uh, to Z was excellent. Seeing Stephen Gray come to the storyline as well uh, and trying to work out what was going on is also very good. And I hope we see his character more because it sort of teased uh, his eyes glowing. And obviously, I, I've not read every, every comic ever, so I don't know what that is connected to or linked to or what his character will offer in the future. But he's a fantastic actor. I'm glad he's in the MCU Sony-verse. I hope to see more of him down the line. Um, and Michelle Williams, she did bits and bobs, mostly with Dan in the film. But when she was taken over as the Venom symbiote, that was cool to see. And it shows how much support she has for Venom and Eddie unconditionally. And I hope we see her return. Probably will be a lot further down the line with how the film ended with 
Tom Hardy's Venom spotting Tom Holland at the end of the film as they went into the multiverse. So very intrigued to see how Venom gets brought into the Spider-Man movies or Venom 3 or something else down the line. I can definitely see Venom appearing in the post credit scene for Spider-Man. This will all depend on what the Spider-Man trailer offers to um, today. So we will see from that. Tom Hardy is definitely, definitely the greatest choice for Eddie Brock. And he just keeps proving it. He's a phenomenal actor. And yeah, well, yeah, no one can touch him at the roles he does. Um, Yeah, and the final thing I want to say is the final battle between Carnage and Venom was epic. Woody Harrison and Tom Hardy did amazing jobs of pulling that off. And it's one of my favorites in a while. In a one-on-one battle. That's what I'm talking about. And yeah, I'd easily give this a 9 out of 10 film. A very, very good one. Everyone should check this out. And you will need to check it out if you want to keep up with how the MCU and the Sony universe is working. Because there's that many films, that many shows. There's so much to keep on top of these days. You're going to have to be watching all the content if you want to have the best reactions, the best moments happen. I understand people talking about, you know, the making too much content, this, that, and the other. I'm sorry, but if you're a Marvel fan, if you're a superhero fan, you should be loving how much content Disney and Sony are pumping out for us. Um, it's incredible. It's the best time to be a fan of these things. We've had I've watched Shang Chi, Venom, and Eternals in the past two weeks. Hawkeye is out next week. Spider Man trailer drops today, um, and it's out next month. You've got all the content coming out next year, uh, as well as Morbius from Sony which I'm very uh, intrigued to talk about soon um, and work out what universe that's in. As obviously, as we saw the PS4 version, of Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire version, Garfield, Holland, Keaton, all that stuff featured in the trailer. So I'll be talking about that soon. Uh, I hope you enjoyed Venom, Let There Be Carnage. Hope you enjoyed the first one. I'll be reviewing that very soon too. Keep up with the channel. I'm going to be posting so much content going into the end of 2021. Um, Hawkeye, as I said, next week's so stay tuned for that. Spider Man reaction trailer coming very soon once that drops. Um, yeah, and so much more content. Leave any comments below you want on content you want to see. Uh, like, subscribe. Have a good day. Take care and goodbye.